Now this video will be wrapping everything up of all the codes and programs I did to the car using the VACOM. So I used the lock and unlock button by holding both either or down to unlock all the windows and sunroof or lock all the windows and the sunroof as well. So I'm, I'm just going to do the locking part first. Keep holding it. And there you go. This mod has been here for years, so I'm pretty sure you guys know this already. Here's the unlocking as well. If you saw the sunroof, the sunroof didn't open because I disabled opening the sunroof through the MMI. And I'll show you how you could do that as well. The next thing you will notice when you turn on the car is that cool little needle sweep. And then the next thing you will notice is there's the no seat belt, which I disabled it because it just got really annoying. But I got one alarm off, but then I can't get this alarm off. I want to get, whenever you open the door, I hate this. I hate this and economical tips. Those are the most annoyingest things on my car. I've tried to disable the alarm, this alarm, but whenever I did it, the program just kept telling me an error code so I really don't know how to solve that on this MMI 2G high on the B8.5A4 so if you've done it on any Audi please let me know because I'd like to figure out how to disable it now the next thing I've done was the oil and the lap display on here as you can see there's the oil and you can also do lap timers so when like you're going 0 to 60 you can check out how fast you're going so the start and then stop would be let me see if I can get better. you press it once to start to save it you click the same button to the split and pause it would be the bottom button and then you're gonna hold the reset button right here for about a second to get more laps and more options I'm not sure how that works exactly hold it for like a second and then you'll get this I'm not sure how that works, but then to completely erase it, you keep holding that reset button, and there it is. After that, I did the fuel adjust bit, so this is how I'm messing with it. I went to the VCDS, I went to 17 instruments, then adaptation, and I'm going to change the value of, just to just test it, 1, 3, 0, test... And then I'm going to click save. Once I click yes, look what happens. See if I can get a better angle. As you saw, it changed. Let's see what it says now. Now it says 145. That's some progress right there. I'm going to try to keep changing it till I get the accurate measure now. I'm going to cut the video. the fuel gauge and the digital one change because I'm going to be removing the fuel reserve tank reading so I could have the full on accurate measure of the car. 35. Now I'm at 190. Now that's the correct mileage I'm looking for. Perfect. The next thing I did was the new MMI car settings options. So I enabled background lighting, but I have no idea, no idea what it does because it doesn't do anything. I got battery level, and last but not least on MMI would be the windows. As you can see, my sunroof was off. If you mess up like I did, I don't have a video of it, but basically all I did was enable the battery level option, and then when I proceeded to save everything, and I looked back onto the car, all of my car menu options have just disappeared and only two were left. I think it was a battery option and the oil level or tire pressure monitoring system. It's one of those two that we're on. And I figured out how to recover those options in case you may have lost it. So you're gonna go onto the computer, you're gonna click radio, then it's gonna show you diagnose, di whatever, active. I don't know how to say that. Then you're gonna click on adaptation, go to channel 39, click read, 
disregard any value that you have. It has to be this value right here on channel 39. Make sure that's the value you enter and go to channel 40. And make sure you have the same exact uh, value on number 40 as well. You're going to click test on both channels and save it on both channels. Once you're done, click done, go back. Then click close controller and you should get all these options. I decided to mess around with how the drive in the sports mode look like on here. So whenever you shifted the drive, it just shows the D right there. And when you shift it down to S, you get the S1 feature, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if it does anything in Tritronic, Auto Manual, and Sports Mode. I'm not sure. We'll see that later on in the future. But when you switch to the Auto Manual, it's just manual, the Tritronic mode. But then, I also managed to do another programming. So whenever you, whenever you put the car in reverse, you're going to flip this to the right side mirror. It's automatically going to show you the curved side view, which is default on the Audi A7. But this is like an extra feature I added on my car. So it's just easier to view the side mirror when you're reverse parking and whatever. And now the last thing I did, I hate that sound, that beep, was dynamic lights. So whenever you're going the speeds up to 50 miles or more on the highway and you had to do a quick stop or a quick break, their dynamic lights will like be brighter and will flash more, will be more dynamic to alert the person behind you to slow down because you're braking quickly. Other than that, that's pretty much all I've done to the car. Stay tuned for more videos in the future, and my next video is going to be about the Samsung S8 Plus. Alright, bye.